Yum, yum! Floyd here with a quick tip for combining displacement and bump textures in Moto. In this example, I have a simple head mesh with a multifractal displacement layer applied to it. While I like the look of the displacement, I'd prefer not to distort the facial features. One option is to mask the facial features. For this example, I'll use a weight map, but keep in mind it could be a gradient, painted image map, or procedural texture that's used. To use a weight map, add a vertex map texture layer. To mask the face and ears, I'll invert the layer and then drag it on top of the displacement layer to make it a layer mask. Next, duplicate the displacement layer, change its layer effect to bump, and then disable the invert attribute on the layer mask. This setup limits the bump to the portions of the mesh not displaced, giving the appearance that the entire mesh is displaced. This can be a handy hack when working with displacements, so be sure to experiment with it so you can use it as needed. Oh, look at the time.